Hello everybody, this is Van Hargis with Van Hargis Horsemanship. Welcome to the Ranch Road, part two for this Thursday afternoon. And um, I want to visit with you guys today about uh, something we were discussing at lunch uh, today while we were taking a break from the heat and the humidity. Um, you know, I, I get a lot of calls every year wanting to know if we'll bring horses into training and, and I never want to discourage anybody from doing so. It's just that I also want folks to truly understand um, what what taking a horse training or what taking a horse to a trainer is all about. Um, I'm going to throw out there a quote that I want you guys to really think about. For anybody that's considering taking your horse to a trainer, before you take your horse to a trainer, I want you to be extremely honest about where you are as a rider. Okay, because there's this fallacy that's been around for years and years that um, oh, you've got a colt, you need to have it trained, and, uh, and, and I think people have it in their mind that if they take the horse to a trainer, once trained, always trained. Um, but but here's, the, here's the big thing, I don't mean to hurt anybody's feelings, but here's the reality, I mean the absolute reality, and that's this. Your horse, any horse, will rise or fall to, to the level of the rider. Okay, I'm going to repeat that. Your horse will rise or fall to the level of your rider. So let's just say you take your horse to a phenomenal trainer. Man, it's the best guy in the country. He's done this. He's done that. He's won this cult starting thing. He's won that cult starting thing. He's won this championship. He's done this. He's done that. He's done great. Oh, my God, he's the best guy in the country. If I'm going to spend my money, that's where I want to send it to. I highly advise that, quite frankly. Send it to the best person you can possibly afford. Your horse is worth it. I've been quoted as saying hundreds of times that a horse only gets one first start. He deserves the best. So get that horse to the best hand you can possibly get it to, to get that horse started properly under saddle, keep it progressing properly and do well. But the question really comes up, what you gonna do about you? What you gonna do about yourself? Cause see, if this horse comes home you know, an equine badass, I mean, that sucker's riding around doing great, doing all sorts of really cool stuff, then the question I would have then is that what's going to keep him doing that? If you're going to demand that your trainer, oh, get this colt going a really, really good foundation and, and maybe even put flying lead changes on him early in his training, and then you get him home and you don't know how to do flying lead changes, what good did that do you, you see? So your horse will rise or fall to the level of the rider. So, if you're going to send your horse to training, send yourself to training too. I, that's why I strongly encourage people to go to clinics, go to seminars, go to expos, visit with your trainers, ride with your trainers, spend time with your trainers, ride with friends who ride better than you, learn from each other, communicate with each other, learn how to raise the level of your riding so that you can continue to bring your horse along. The saddest thing in my life as a trainer over the years is I might have a horse in training for oh a month, two months, three months, or whatever, and the day that it leaves my place is the best that horse will ever be. That's very sad. So I encourage you guys, go out and seek out trainers to work with, ride with, go be a part of their program. Um, you know, like for example, we offer uh, what we call extended stay training programs where, where guests can come in and stay in our uh, facilities on our ranch for three and four or five days at a time and sometimes even longer so that they can learn a little bit more about their horsemanship and they can keep their horses elevated in their training and maybe even escalating in their training. So I encourage you guys to do that. Thank you for joining me and remember the horse will rise or fall to the level of your rider. So I'm challenging you to increase your knowledge in horsemanship. This is Van Hargis with Van Hargis Horsemanship. Thank you for joining me on the Ranch Road. Until next time, we'll see you later. Safe ride and ride every stride.